Among the survivors of the interstate pileup was a student driver taking her final roadway test. Miraculously, both she and her instructor made it out of the crash alive and unharmed. Maddie Kurth reports. That is the hero. <laughs> yes, nothing, not a scratch, nothing, nothing, nothing. I was sitting here. You see that I have a mirror there and her st the student mirror. Gisela Chevalier got into her J&G International Driving School car Monday morning to test a student on the I-10 to I-55 route she's used for years. Interstate, uh, U.S. federal and all that. So I'm not afraid of fog. So I told my students, you know, don't be afraid of fog. We have to drive on foggy days, on rainy days, so that's okay. The foggy day in question dropped visibility on I-55 near Manchac to zero. Her student driver behind the wheel. In front of their car, a flatbed trailer. Coming up behind them, a double 18-wheeler. They both slammed on the brake and hoped for the best. I'm very proud of her because she did what we taught her to do, and, and we are here because she handled it pretty good, pretty brave. Chevalier was happy with her driver, critical of those sharing the road that morning. A lot of cars were passing a little bit of speeding due to the smoke and fog. In my opinion, they were a little bit too fast. A lot of them were with the lights off, and that's why that state trooper was almost going from car to car in his car, telling us, drop the window, hey, turn the lights on. Okay, I had the automatic, but evidently it wasn't enough. Not soon after, the pileups began. 911 calls dispatching whoever they could to help the victims. We do have everybody in route to y'all, multiple fire departments, police, and ambulance. So they're, they're coming that way, and they'll get to you when they can. Okay, They've got to make it through a bunch of different... Smash to no recognition. I mean, they were like... Nothing. I have multiple units in row. We're gonna get somebody in row. Yeah, the original multiple vehicle accidents is was, was reported on the on the southbound side. Okay. Near the 15, but oh now. Oh God, it's hot. Oh God, it's so awful. Yes, ma'am. We have several units in row, um, and we getting them out the roadside assistant trucks in route as well. So they might get there before our units have started to start getting y'all out the roadway. Chevalier and her student spent hours trapped on the bridge. They saw a fire truck driving in reverse to get to victims. First responders getting out and walking when the road was impassable. And when it finally came time to give a final grade, there was no hesitation. She was pretty calm too. She was at the wheel when all that happened. When we were ready to leave and turn around, I took the wheel because I was, I thought it was too much for her, honestly. But, uh, but she's a master. She made a hundred. No doubts about it. Okay, she earned it. Chevalier tells me she graduated that driver's husband as well just last week, and she didn't wait long to conquer the fear of riding again. She says another student was tested this morning in that same car on the same route, albeit modified, to accommodate for the road closures.